Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. Welcome to this winter, not a beer review, I'm calling it beer reviews, but this is actually an eggnog review. This is a funny story. Now, you and I, we both shop at International Market from time to time, right? Mm -hmm. Just to pick up on some obscure things and see what kind of yeah, they sell price stuff that they yeah, have. they sell stuff that you never see anywhere else, like. Southern Comfort Tabasco yeah. liqueur for two two for three ninety nine. You know, like, like crazy stuff. Right. So I was over there and I was looking around and I was like, well, I don't see anything I need, you know, but I'll check back next time. And then I was just getting ready to, to leave and I was like, top shelf. They had this these glass bottles and the big plastic handle. I said What is New England classic, old New England classic eggnog? So I was like, is this stuff like five years old or is it new? So I looked at the date and it looked like it was from the 267th day of 2021, which would mean, you know, pretty recent. So I went to the checkout and I asked the lady, I said, this stuff's safe. <laughs> I said, is this stuff safe to drink? She said, of course. All right. So I bought it, and I drank it, I didn't get sick, so so I started looking up the company. They've been around for decades. They're in Boston, Massachusetts. Most of their products they sell to New England, like not here. Mm -hmm. Whiskey, rum, brandy, gin, bourbon, tequila, etc. And all these cordials. So I said, I don't know how it showed up here, but like you said, international market, you don't never you never know what you're gonna see in there, right? No. Yeah. So I'll figure that buy it. Seven that may or may not follow the same distribution rules as other folks. I I am not you know, <laughs> May or may not. So I figured seven dollars and ninety nine cents a bottle. That's a pretty good price. You're not losing much. Yeah, this is a stuff doesn't this stuff usually go for ten to twelve dollars a bottle? Seven ninety nine to ten ninety nine, so I figured, what the heck? So I start I started doing research. Mm -hmm. And I looked at their website. They've been around since the end of Prohibition. They used to be a pharmaceutical company. They sold drugs and then they started selling extracts. Then they got into the liquor business. Alright, so um they use food coloring, they uh use Rum from Puerto Rico, <coughs> brandy from France, straight bourbon, four year age, four year old straight bourbon, and blended whiskey. So not exactly cheapskate stuff. And then all the all the cows, all the cows are from Massachusetts, New England. All right. All right. Oh, so here we go. Kind of a late holiday cheer, but cheers. Oh well, you know, it's probably gonna last. last. 15% alcohol. All right. It smells good. What does it smell like? Sugar and milk, right? And eggs. Custard. Mm -hmm. It's kind of strong. It's got a really good holiday spice flavor to it. It's bold. It's a... It's a it's got that typical eggnog flavor going on with it. Uh, but yeah, it's good. It gets better than some of the other eggnogs I've had. I was really curious to buy it. You know, when I see these crazy things, I buy them and I thought, this might be good. And I, and I tried it and I said, I wonder what David would think about this thing from Boston. It's pretty good. Old New England classic eggnog. I know somebody that you and I both know that probably would like it. Okay. Probably. So, um, it's sugary. It's a dessert. Mm -hmm. It's a nightcap. Yeah. You don't start with it. No. You finish with it. And I have some cinnamon. So you suggest I put cinnamon in the just Slight. Good. Good. 
and it's got nutmeg infused in it. They said they had nutmeg before they bought oh, it. Oh, I, I tasted nutmeg. Oh, you did? Yeah. not been to New England many times in my life. I had been there. There's a lot of farms, cover bridges, little towns. Um, mm. you pretty good, huh? Yeah. I had more flavor to it. So you think that's a good deal for $7.99? Yes. Very eggy. Very milky, creamy. Mm-hmm. Very creamy. If you drank too much of this, you would be so sorry. This would be great if they turn it into ice cream. But you understand what I'm saying. Like, if you drank too much of this, you would be... Yeah, well, I don't know how you could drink too much of this. I mean, the, the whole, like, richness uh, kind of kicks you back. It would probably come up before you got sick. Yeah, probably. 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 Yeah. So you... I'm not trying to influence your, your uh, scoring, but you would agree with me that it's probably better than your average eggnog. It is better than average. Yeah. Well, oh, cheers, to, cheers to Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, I think you've sent it our way or make it our way. However that happened. We really don't care. We really don't care because we got it. And I can go back over there and get a huge handle bottle of it. All right, so uh, I'm going to score this a solid 94 out of 100. It's great. I'm going to give it the same score. I can't go up or down on it. Uh, I don't really drink a whole lot of eggnog. But it's no, good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a holiday product. But uh, anyway. Right. So, Lazy Lake Bon Ton Relay, a very enjoyable uh, pre um, infused eggnog and we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Boston, Massachusetts and tour the MS Walker bottle and plant.